Soldiers Arts Academy art group. It's our online art group. And all the work in this room is produced by the members. They started work probably around the first week of lockdown and they've continued painting, meeting weekly. Um, we have two hour sessions every Tuesday. They're open to everybody, veterans, spouses, family members, and basically anyone who wants to take part. So get in touch via our website if you'd like to learn to paint and draw. Okay, so my name's Robin Perko, also known as Paint Slosher. Uh, I've been working with the Soldiers Arts Academy for three years, just over three years, April 2020. It's been a fantastic experience. Uh, we, are, we sort of run terms, uh, four-week terms, uh, started just a new term. And today is the uh, first of an exhibition show that we're uh, holding here at 105 uh, Euston Street in London. amount of work on display and a lot of it has been created during the sessions that are run. Uh, they are atelier style sessions so we learn from each other. It's a fantastic experience uh, for everybody where uh, projects range from still life to figurative to portraits to plein air paintings, uh, charcoal, pencil, um, oil paint. So I'm Heidi Cox, um, I'm an artist here exhibiting with the Soldiers Arts Academy for the first time. Um, I'm also an army wife and have been for the last 23 years. I've got two boys who also joined the army, one is just starting this Sunday, so completely one and truly into the fold. Um, and this is, this is how I deal with army life, getting creative. So I've been um, painting with Robin probably since the beginning, since 2020, which got me through lockdown. I've only ever did GCSE art at school and never really done anything after that. So it's been a huge learning curve, starting with portraits and doing a lot of oils, which was completely new to me. Uh, the stuff behind here is all my digital art, so it's all done. Um, on an iPad and it gives me the ability to go into enormous detail um, and then I print it out on fine cliche um, art, art paper and cliche printing which just gives it the pop of colour that is um, really important when you're trying to do something like that um, and so I have a I, I love doing iPad art I love doing acrylics I do quite a lot of illustrative stuff um, and and then I do my oils so I'm and I'm developing all the time and it's all thanks to the Soul Arts Academy because without them I probably would never have picked up a paintbrush um, so it's been an amazing experience. Uh, the work is uh, uh, produced remotely over Zoom uh, through the atelier uh, um, methods, uh, traditional sort of methods and uh, basically it's a learn by example so uh, I will paint alongside the other artists and we will be just enjoying the process Nothing is hidden. Everything is out in the open. There's no mystery to painting. You can learn, anybody can learn how to paint. And that is such a critical thing. You can learn the steps, like playing a musical instrument, learn the scales. But I always say, uh, never at the detriment of expression. So we're only learning these things to be uh, more proficient at expressing something. Um, hi, I'm Helen Loyal and Usher. I'm here with the Soldiers Arts Academy exhibiting for the first time ever. And um, yeah, it's been amazing. We're really excited to be doing it. It's been quite a terrifying experience, mainly because I've never done it before. Um, haven't picked up a paintbrush since A-levels really. And uh, since basically painting some stones with my daughters, I, um, I got back into painting with uh, one of my friends. It's been an incredible journey. And uh, yeah, here are some of my paintings. Um, okay. So I believe you painted Primrose, tell us about that. Yeah, so Primrose was one of our longest projects. It took about four or five weeks and, uh, and we started off just with a normal pencil drawing. And it's of a master copy, um, so we had to pick um, an amazing artist who had done you know, fantastic paintings yeah. and then create our own, hopefully using their similar style. Um, so as I say, started off with a pencil drawing and then transferred that onto the canvas. Then we did just black and white, so in a grisier style. 
then weeks later you then start adding the colour and the layers and it's just a fascinating process of, um, of yeah being able to kind of work trying to see what they've done and try and work out how they've got to the position they got to and hopefully ours might probably not but you know it gets to a similar standard but yeah, <laughs> but yeah it's a really fun process and um, yeah Robin was an amazing teacher and yeah just definitely helped us through the process and um, yeah really encouraging. So another aspect, of course, doing anything creative is tremendously helpful in terms of uh, our spirit or uh, helping us, trans it's a transformative power, that's how I see art and I think a lot of people see art uh, or any creative outlet, so that's paramount with the Souls Arts Academy sessions that are run here and I'm really, really privileged to just to be part of it. Hi, I'm Sarah Bird, and I'm one of the artists exhibiting here uh, in London with the Soldiers Arts Academy. I've been painting with them for, it's probably coming on four years now. I got involved during uh, lockdown, which was great. It was great to be part of um, a community and uh, being ex-military, that's something I definitely missed. Um, being, having been ex-military, I wanted to honour uh, some of my really good friends who have served uh, a, lot of, a lot of years in various different uh, services. Um, and I decided to certainly start with this one actually, um, a very good friend who was in the Air Force like myself uh, and then became a chaplain like myself. Um, and so this is for Steve, a friend of mine. Um, and then I decided to do another one for the Fleet Air Arm, another good friend who'd left. And really just to honour uh, everything that they have done for uh, during their service and um, and really as a friend to me and many others um, but from that came the kind of idea really uh, for berries boots and brush strokes so um, I'm quite pleased with how they turned out and uh, those that I am giving to my, my friends I hope they will enjoy them for many years to come so welcome this evening is um, already fully rolling I am so pleased to be part of it. Um, it was a total privilege uh, to be taught by Robin. And in this exhibition, you can see that some uh, subjects are exact, are identical, but every artist gave another personal touch to some of the subject. And, um, uh, you know, and our teacher Robin gave us the liberty to express ourselves in our personal way and um, it's uh, it's wonderful during the lessons not only what our brush is doing but all the stories that we are pouring out during the lessons is all in it when I see the paintings I remember all the stories that were told by all the co-artists and uh, it is um, a very special community so it's very nice to paint in their own corner, but to be together and have the same subject, it is something else and it's something collective that we share and it's very enriching and I enjoyed that tremendously.
So, the show, thank you, Sarah. Uh, yeah, you see, this is, this is the sort of thing we have. We have fantastic fun during these events. Uh, all the sessions are incredible. So, it runs until the 17th of September, and uh, do come along. Uh, it is called Boots, Berets and Brushstrokes. The exhibition is going to be online, so do have a look online through the Soldiers Arts Academy. All the paintings are for sale. Uh, there's incredible courses on offer. Uh, not just painting, there is poetry, there's acting, there's singing, there's music, there's learning so much. So please get connected and uh, hope to see you soon. painting with our tutor Robert, tutor, uh, out of that game. Here with the Soldiers Arts Academy. I've been painting with them for coming up three years now. Um, <laughs> a lot of people going online. Going online, right, okay. Well, okay, so, uh, are you filming? No, I had a good time. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I'm not metabolised, this is ad-lib. <laughs> so, the show, thank you Sarah. Uh, yeah, you see, this is this is the sort of thing we have. We have 